Hello all. In this video, um, in the first part, I will show what programs you need to have installed on your machines to be able to use Honeybee and Ladybug to their full extent. And then in the second part, I will show you how to install Climate Studio. The programs we need are Open Studio, Energy Plus, GH Python, and of course, Ladybug and Honeybee complements. I added timestamps along the video timeline, so if you already have any of these programs installed, you can skip that section. Also, please pay attention to the version of each of these programs, since outdated versions of each of these resources may cause malfunction. Open a Studio is a cross-platform collection of software tools to support whole building energy modeling using Energy Plus and Advanced Daylight Analysis using Radiance. To install Open Studio, go to www.openstudio.net. First, you need to create an account, or if you already have an account, you need to log into that account. Then go under Downloads section and find Open Studio most recent release 30.01. For Windows users, you have two options to download 64-bit um, uh, type or model of this uh, software or 32-bit. Uh, so choose the one that matches your operating system. To check the type of your operating system if you're not aware of it, simply right click on the start button, go to system and then under system type in front of uh, system type you can see the type of your operating system okay after the download is finished go to the file and then right click on the installer and make sure the windows has not blocked it in order to unblock the file, simply uh, check unblock, click on apply, and click on OK. Now run the installer and complete it. The only important note here is that do not change the default file pass or file location for installation, since then Honeybee cannot locate and op uh, read the um, Open Studio files and libraries. So here, do not change this default file path. I will close it right now because I already have it uh, installed. After the installation is finished, go to the location on your machine where you installed Open Studio, which uh, by default it is in your C drive. Uh, find Open Studio. In the Open Studio, you will find a folder named Radiance. Like this. So, this folder by default exists under uh, Open Studio main folder. What you need to do is to cut Radiance folder from Open Studio main folder and then paste it in your main C drive so that the address for Radiance will be C drive backslash Radiance. Energy Plus is a whole building energy simulation program that engineers, architects, and researchers use to model both energy consumption for heating, cooling, ventilation, lighting, and uh, plug-in process loads and water use in buildings. To install Energy Plus, go to energyplus.net and uh, in contrast to Open Studio, you don't need an account to download Energy Plus. Simply go to Downloads, find the latest release, and again, Windows users, you need to match the type of uh, Energy Plus with your uh, operating system. After the download is finished, uh, make sure that Windows has not blocked it. So right click on the installer, go to properties, uh, if you say this just check unblock, click apply, click OK. Then run Energy Plus installer and complete it. Uh, 
just again make sure that you do not change the default installation location to install grasshopper python you need to go to foodforrhino.com if you're not familiar with this website it hosts plugins and add-ons for both rhino and grasshopper if you have an account login if not create one after logging into your account search for grasshopper python gh python then find and download the most recent uh, release after it is downloaded make sure it is not blocked by windows so find the most recent one basically it is february 15th and uh, download it then make sure it is not blocked by windows by simply right clicking on it going to properties and see if there is an unblock button here uh, if it appears here just check it uh, activate unblock click on apply and click OK then to install grasshopper python what you need to do is simply drag and drop it onto your uh, grasshopper canvas so just bring it here and drag and drop it onto your grasshopper canvas I won't do this since I already have it installed now that we have all the other resources installed on our machine well, we need to download and install Ladybug and Honeybee. Uh, search for Ladybug in the search panel in Food for Rhino. And then go to Ladybug Tools. Find the most recent package of Ladybug and Honeybee which is uh, Ladybug 0069 and Honeybee 0066 legacy plugins uh, and download the package then check that if it is blocked by Windows or not uh, if it's blocked unblock it and then go to the main folder under the main folder you will see a Honeybee and a Ladybug folder Go to the Ladybug folder, select all its content, and again, drag and drop them onto your uh, Grasshopper canvas. And it will install all the components onto your Grasshopper. You need to cl uh, close Grasshopper and Rhino and basically reopen them. The very last resource that we can download from Food for Rhino is called Butterfly and it is under the Ladybug tools. So when you're done installing Ladybug and Honeybee, you can download Butterfly from the same collection. It is called Butterfly 0005. Uh, and when you download it, uh, make sure that it's not blocked. Uh, after that, un unpack the uh, zip package and in its main folder you will see a grasshopper uh, definition. Uh, to install Butterfly, what you need to do is to open that definition in Rhino in uh, Grasshopper. And I will show you in a second how to automatically install Butterfly on your machine. Okay, when you open the definition, it looks like this. Uh, you can simply follow the instruction here and what it says is that basically all you need to do is to double click on this boolean toggle and change it to true so that this component installs uh, butterfly automatically on your grasshopper then after it says it's done uh, you need to close it and then restart uh, rhino and grasshopper